Here's a quick update on my wall plotter project. Uh, this is something I started a few months ago, but I had to put it on hold because of some other projects I wanted to finish. Um, but now I've got a little time and I'm uh, back on it. Uh, there's a lot of wall plotters out there and I just didn't want to copy any old design. I wanted to try to add some innovative features of my own. Uh, and the two features I've added uh, that I want to talk about is uh, the way it stores the belt on some reels. Uh, the reels are um, controlled by a tape measure spring. And so as it goes out, you can see the reel winding here. Uh, and that makes uh, it a little cleaner. There's no hanging belts uh, below it while it's running. Uh, kind of has an interesting look. And then when you go to clean it up, you just home all these and then the belts are stored nice and clean, untangled on the reels. The other thing is uh, I like my projects to be super portable. So I might go to various locations and set this up on different size walls, doors, windows, whatever I want to do. Um, the problem is if you don't know the exact motor center to center distance, uh, the kinematics won't work right and uh, you won't get straight lines and things like that. I could just bring out a tape measure, enter a value, but I thought I'd use the trinamic stall detection to uh, try and solve this. And what it's going to do is I take this motor's belt, I put it in this clip here, and then I zero that axis. So it's gonna reel it in until it uh, gets tension and the stall detection is gonna kick in and now that axis is zeroed. I'll release this belt, home it again, and record the distance it traveled on that homing. Now with a simple calibration factor that's stored in the settings, it now knows the pulley center to center distance. And then it homes uh, this axis and then it's ready to go. So uh, I'll give a quick demonstration of that. Okay, now it knows the zero point. Release that axis. Winding that belt up. You can see the spool picking up the belt. That axis is zeroed and it knows the span now. Now it just has to zero this axis. That axis is ready to go. And then I just feed them out to the zero point. This is the point where um, I've considered my work zero. And I simply just put these into the end effector and hang it down below and it's ready to go. That's basically it for that feature.